Man. Don't get your head cut by the you gonna Zeke you look. <laughs> what are you gonna do for this family? I don't wanna end up like you. It's you that killed everything good in this family. You must have been on top. No! What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3. And we're going to be talking about your boy Tariq St. Patrick. This is the character description breakdown video. Now if you haven't seen the other ones, check out the one I did yesterday. I broke down Kiki Travis's uh, description yesterday. And last week we went over your girl Effie. And also, we went over your boy Kane. So check those videos out. Continue to keep yourself updated on all the latest power news. And I will continue to give you guys these videos. But let's talk about your boy Tariq and what he's going to be on in this season. So far, it's been very interesting for Tariq's character. But let's go over that description. Now the description reads, After ushering his mother and sister to safety in season 2, Tariq St. Patrick now finds himself at a crossroads. He wants to get his inheritance trust and his family back but he's pulled even deeper into the drug business. With his own life and those of the people closest to him at stake, Tariq enters into business with some of the most dangerous people he's ever met. Tariq is forced to juggle the business school in a new corporate persona as he fights to get control of his life back. But at the very least, he's got his newfound chosen family back in him. That is until secrets forged between them threaten to completely sever the relationship in the business leaving Tariq to wonder whom, if anyone, he can trust. So those are the key elements of Tariq's character for season three. You already know he's dealing with a lot. Of course, messing around with the Tahada family, this whole Rico thing coming in, and also the secret about Lauren that's being kept from him from Effie and Brayden. And he's going to be pissed off once all those things are revealed to him, man. It's about to get crazy. So down below, I want you guys to let me know exactly how you see it playing out for Tariq, especially after hearing that description and seeing the first two episodes. Now, we know one of the biggest things for Tariq's character is, you know, being lied to. He hates it. He wants the truth no matter what. He struggled with that in the original power because he was continued to be lied to over and over again. And he hated it so much. Right. And that is a huge trigger for Tariq. So once he realizes that Brayden and Effie have been lying to him, y'all already know he's going to be pissed off. We already saw numerous of trailers of Tariq going off. We know he's going to get into a fight with Brayden. We know he's going to go off on Effie. And everybody is wondering, what is he going to do when he figures out the truth? Will he decide that he wants to take them out? Or does he have something else in store for the both of them? Because it will be kind of risky to take out two people. But I think it's going to hurt him so much just to know that was lying to him. And we know Tariq, he doesn't really put a lot of trust in a lot of people, right? And for them two people that he believes he can have some type of trust in to do that to him, it's going to kill him. I'm telling you that right now. So this is why I believe everybody wants to know what your boy Tariq is going to do when that truth is revealed. Now, besides the whole Brayden and Effie thing with Lauren, we know Tariq will also have some other issues with Noma, the Tejada family, and maybe even new threats. We know based off one of the official trailers, it tells us that it's most likely going to be a war. We can hear Tariq even saying that he believes a war is going to be started, right? So we know something major will happen within the storyline. We know it will be a shootout at allegedly Lorenzo's funeral. And that's going to make things even more crazier with all the characters. And on top of that, what's going to happen with this whole Rico thing? So just think about all the things that he's going to be dealing with. This war going on, the truth about Lauren, and this big Rico case. So he has to make sure he makes the right choice all the way around the board. And we know he's going to be watched by everybody, right? Because Noma ain't playing around. And she already shows you what she can do. They're building up her character to be very dangerous or whatever. And we can see that she's a major threat. And we know she's going to be pissed off once she realizes Monet was the one that took out Mecca. I told you guys back in the first episode, she looked at Tariq and all of them. And she told him, if anybody gives her some information about what really happened to Mecca, it would do them well. And Tariq gave her that look like, man, 
Could I use that as a wild card if I got to? Even though he was a part of the game plan, I mean, it could be, you know, a trick up his sleeve if he really had to use it. But that depends on how his relationship is going to go with the Tejada family. It seems like Monet is putting a lot of trust in Tariq. We talked about this. You shouldn't be trusting nobody, but it's understandable on why Monet is feeling the way she's feeling because Tariq was with her when Zeke got taken out. So, of course, she has that bond with him. And he's pretty much always handled any you know, type of issues that she's needed him to handle. And I believe that will continue to happen as long as Tariq and the Tejada family are on good terms. We shall see. Now, as far as Lauren being alive, once Tariq figures that out, y'all know it's going to basically shock him. And he's going to have to figure out what he wants to do with that information. Now, some of you guys say that Tariq was talking to Lauren in the This Season trailer when he said, I love you, but I will pull a bullet in you. So... Will he have that encounter with Lauren this season? I mean, I do believe it's going to happen. But for him to, you know, tell her, I will put a bullet in you, lets us know that he's really serious about this. And Lauren most likely is a liability, which she's always really been, to be honest. I mean, I understand what Effie did or she tried to do. But I told y'all, Effie was just going off the rules of the game. And we know in power history, if you wear a wire, if you're a snitch, you just don't make it at all. So it was understandable on why she did what she did. It's just how she did it, going behind his back and doing it. So that will upset him. But like I told y'all, if Lauren still presents herself as a threat to the organization, to everybody, this whole Rico thing, if she's the key to all of it, you know, most likely Tariq's going to have to do what he has to do. I mean, Tommy didn't want to take out Holly, but he did. Tommy didn't want to take out Tony the Rat Terezi, but he did. So Tariq, I guess you're going to have to do what Kanan told you to do. And I just take out somebody that you love. But Tariq will only do this if he really had to, especially to Lauren. So we're going to see how that all plays out. And seeing that Blanca Rodriguez is investigating the stuff down in Chicago with Tommy. Everybody wants to know, will we get that power spinoff type episode? I do think eventually it will happen. You can just tell on how they're you know, having her in both shows and the connections between both. It got to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen this season, but hopefully we see a little bit more as far as that storyline. And also we know Tasha most likely may return. We may see your girl Tasha. We know Yasmin had that phone inside that bear, I believe. And I'm honestly believing that something's going to happen with that storyline because they're not just going to give her that and we don't see anything else about it. So I'm expecting them to give us something by the end of the season with that whole storyline with Yasmin and Tasha. And, you know, y'all know Tariq, he wants to protect them at all costs. But we got to see more of it before the season ends. But I want y'all to leave those theories, predictions Leave it all down below. I think Tariq will have a hell of a season. He's going to have a lot of choices to make. And seeing that he wants to get out of the drug game and seeing how this whole Rico thing is building up, he has to make all the right moves. But with all the secrets going around and also, you know, him doing real good with Wall Street, with Brayden, that may change some things up for your boy Tariq. And he's most likely going to have to think of a different way to handle all of his issues. We know his grandma told him, you're just like your pops. You're just like ghosts. Tariq doesn't think so. But deep down inside, he believes it because he already told ghosts he is him. He told him this already, right? So he always gets mad when somebody else tells him, you know, that he's like his pops. And it's like a trigger as well. And he snaps. So we're going to see what he's going to be on. He's talking about he's smarter than his dad. He's better. Well, we got to see it because as of right now, you're still learning. You know what I'm saying? You're still learning. It's okay. I mean, it's good to have that confidence in yourself. And based off the trailer, Tariq definitely going to be turning up this season. But we will continue to talk more about these characters very soon this week. So leave it all down below on your predictions for Tariq and other characters as well. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dart. I'm out. Peace.